What's up guys and welcome back to Skull and Bones. We are back here on St. Anne and uh, we have a traitor amongst the ranks. Let's go talk to Mr. Skurlock. I think we're going to be fleshing out the mole today. Let's see what we've got going on. Feels good to be back, baby. Your stature grows ever more. Keep that fire burning. Been grinding. Got some upgrades I want to tell you guys about, too. Cutthroat Secrets. Skurlock finds himself blindsided by treachery within his ranks. Retrieve information about the traitors and eliminate them. Karadek claims to control half my organization. He's got a noose around my balls, and he yanks it ever tighter. We don't want that. Rats infest my ranks, and you, Kali, will help me define who they are. My agents, the very best of them, collect whispers and assets and then bury them deep you are to find the stash and recover the items among them should be the list of rats now i am handing you a blade you can use it to release the noose or cut me open call me the exterminator baby I'll stand with you, come what may. It's good to know where we stand. I won't forget this. Your loyalty will reap its just rewards. I thought you should know this. Karadex collected more capital. He's ratcheted up the bounty on my head and yours. It's all in your hands, Cully. I hope I wasn't wrong about you. For both our sakes. I mean, I don't... Skurlock's a bad guy in a sea full of bad guys, but we showed up Air to this island on a dow. Full hold. And he took us under his wing. He's done right by us, so we're going to do right by him. Locate the agent stash to gather information about the traitors. Examine the clues for the stash. Officers in the coast of Africa and Ziwa Kuba remain trusting and unaware of any subterfuge. I have much to share. Please seek out the sunken gold mine. So it looks like we're going to be on the west coast somewhere, and there's a little lake on the inside. We're looking for, like, little stacks of stones. He said something about Africa. It's going to be kind of a west coast, and there's going to be a lake on the inside. So it's got to be one of these islands, maybe? So I can't really find it. I've got an idea, though. It, it mentions the coast of Africa and Ziwa Kubwa. So I was looking. This is the coast of Africa, obviously. But then Ziwa Kubwa is right here. And we have a, a route that goes in there as well as one that goes in here. We haven't been back there. I didn't know there was going to be more land back there. But uh, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. So we're going to be going left and trying to find that yellow X there. So, uh, yeah, this is our uh, our beautiful Padawa Kang that we got in the last episode. And uh, like I mentioned in that intro, we have some pretty serious upgrades. Let me disembark really quick because I want to show you guys in the ship management screen. I have been grinding. I have been all over the place collecting resources, building things. So last episode, we built the Padawa Kang because it is a DPS beast. It's all about doing damage. It's a specialty in that play style. You've got perks where you're, you know, doing explosive damage and bonus damage. And if things are on fire, it does even more damage. So really this thing is all about doing damage, which is obviously a ton of fun. Now off screen, your boy has been grinding and every single additional part of this ship kind of leans into that play style. So if we take a look at our weapons, you guys know we did, discovered the fire bombards in the last episode, really liked them. We now have them on our bow, port, starboard, and stern. So these are all fire bombard ones. It's the best, or fire bombard two, sorry. It's the best fire bombard cannon we can get right now. There's a three. There's also some specialty legendary ones and stuff we could eventually get, but it's the best one we can make right now. So we are maxed out in weaponry. We also now finally have an auxiliary weapon. We haven't had a slot for this before, so now we do. We've got the mortar one, which again does explosive and fire damage and stuff. It's really good. Haven't used it yet, but it's supposed to be really good. We've got the best armor that we can craft currently, La Fortaresse 2. It gives us the 250 ship score, whatever it is. You guys can see down the bottom right, we're level eight. And uh, finally, last but not least, of course, furniture is also a big part of this. And it was one of our weak points leading up to this, but we grinded for it, we developed it. We actually switched it up. We no longer have the rope locker, which this increased our acceleration. We now have scoping stations. So the fire bombards and the mortar are 
You can use them all around, but they're a little bit more long range. Now, if we hit a target more than 320 meters away, it applies the marked status, which then takes 100% more damage to weak points. So you basically double your damage on weak points. And then in our second, third, and fourth slots, we have things that increase the fire bombard. So number two is the works, which increases the, the damage multiplier by 19%. Number three is the powder house, which increases the radius by 10%. And then number four increases the speed of the projectile by 15%. So basically, we are fully maxed out to as much damage as possible. This is going to be amazing. I don't even know if I would call it a glass cannon. Like, it's kind of that style of build where you're putting everything into being able to do as much damage as possible. But at the same time, like, we're still pretty quick. We still have a good amount of health. You know, it's it's not our priority. We're hoping to be able to sink people before we end up taking too much damage. We've got a, a great amount of storage. Like things things are good for us. We're looking looking very solid here. There's a little combat going on. Just gonna leave him to his uh, his battle there. Not gonna mess with that. Don't wanna get into a fight when we're back here in enemy territory and uh, yeah like i said we're gonna sail up through here we're gonna go west into africa ziwa kuba it might be in here i was trying to see like along here i just don't see many lakes or anything this thing is a beast though man we're all blacked out dude i love the look of her i love the sails i love everything about it we've got kind of some blue accents on the front with that specialty armor that we got i'll be forced this this thing open let's take the loot where we can get it. I kind of want to try to show you guys what we've got going on. This is a level three, so this is really, really unfair. But we can hit that. I haven't used this yet. Is this, oh, how do we? I'm gonna use our mortar. Let's see how the mortar works. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> Lob it up in the air and it comes down, just dunks on him. Okay, look at that. Two shot kill on a level three. We're a level eight, so that's not as impressive as I would have liked, but eventually we'll, we'll get some Stronger opponents to show what we can really do. That's still, honestly, two shots to, to completely sink somebody is, is pretty sick. So, I'm excited to try this thing out. I haven't really used it much. We've just been sailing all over the place, collecting resources and things. If you guys remember when we were trying to build this Padua King, we had to go over to the, uh, the Far East and, and collect all the, like, crude saltpeter and stuff like that, and it got really rough. All right. Now we got a, a little battle going on. Good night. Three shots on a level four. We got our things behind us. You gotta shoot this where they're gonna be, which is kind of unfortunate if they're too close. He's done. He's a level five. Oh yeah, dude. This is gnarly. I mean, we're taking we're taking damage. We are gonna have to use our, our repair kits and things like that. Kind of a bad spot here. We can't use much i guess if we turn sideways throw some firebombs at him why not there it is catch those boys on fire that's what we're best at and boom all right 3v1 no problem took a little bit of damage but it is what it is oh there's a whole new waterway back here okay is that the lake that's got to be it right there yep ziwa kuba all right we figured it out Already got some of the rock stacks and stuff happening. A bit bigger than what we're looking for, but tells us we're in the right area. Who sails around back here? The Ivory Coast people? Yeah. Like the tusks? Interesting. I had no idea this this area was back here. This is great. Okay. Another fifth of the map is unlocked. More seas to sail. More things to uncover. So this should have our list of traitors. Let's go check it out. Gonna find out who's trading and then who's, who's treacherous, who's, who's switching sides and then we're gonna have to go, go take them out. Treasure in this outpost. So we're gonna hold So it looks like it's up to the left, kind of where we are. We've got a letter here, hidden relics. So if 
And about a gold mine. We're not worried about that though. I'm looking. I'm looking for a rock with, with a couple little rock stacks on it. Gonna see if we can find that somewhere. I feel like there's a big area to search for rocks with rock stacks on them. I don't know if there's a a better way for us to try to find that. What is this here? Bog iron? We'll take that all day. Yep. Your trash is my treasure. Maybe up top? Would it be another letter here? Voices beneath the earth. Oh, that just takes us down. Well done, Trev. Yep, you just wasted our time. I feel like we've got kind of a, a pathway happening here, so maybe... If we take a left, Pirate's Bonfire. Look out for Pirate Bonfires at Outpost. Lighting a bonfire will boost regeneration of crew stamina for you and any group mates. We don't need that, although that is pretty cool. Oh, what? Oh, it's right here. Okay, we'll, we'll take it. That's the rock that we were looking for right there. Not gonna lie, kind of makes me a little uncomfortable in this game that when we're digging up things we don't have like i feel like we need like a, a spade a pirate shovel or something like that i don't know all right so we got the treasure chest that's gonna have the list of rats and i think we're probably gonna go take them out i would imagine see where he's at we upgraded our spyglass to level three so we now have a two and a half times that's a patrolling ship that's not him is that him right there no oh he might be the is he the small one right here Skurlock's Trader, a little broadsider. He's got some uncut diamond. He's over there taking somebody else out, too. Look how rude. All right. Well. That might not hit. We got to get used to the uh, the size of our, what's it called? Throw some firebombs at him. He's done. Let me take his friend out, too, so we can get credit for that kill. Skurlock's Trader's down. And we have one more right there. Dead. Let's go. Okay. I mean, Mr. Skurlock, I think I built the perfect ship for you, my guy. Any challenge you give us, we're just going to be able to run up and take care of him. Is that it? That's... I think we need to go report it back to Skurlock. We'll take that. Took down at least one of the moles. Who knows if there's more? Wouldn't be surprised if there were, but... Uh, that was light work. Skurlock, you got to... Soldier at your service. Good on you. Privateers deserve to die like the dogs they are. Yeah, got it done. He gone. A long list of captains. Some of my best. Yet it covers only a fraction. More remain hidden. Karadek lays bait and the spineless oaf snap at it. I mean, there's no honor among thieves, but, but selling out to the French, they dig their own graves just to get a prettier tombstone. The highest bidder. You would I'd do the exact the same, Mr. Skrullock. But there won't be enough captains for the pirate round. <laughs> Chulin will cut us off like a rotten limb. I mean, I'd kill all the you traitors. Take them on, and we've helped kill the fucks. But that leaves us wide open for Karadek to swoop in. My port will burn. Yeah, but that's for the outside. You want to burn from the inside out. Unless you're going to bribe him back on your side. Karadek puts blade to my neck, while my own captain stabbed me in the back. Resist or not, they'll take it all. A glorious victory. That's what he wants. Karadek makes his name for slaying infamous pirate, earns favor, then rises to a cushy new post on the Atlantic. Got an idea floating about in my head. It washes everything clean. I'll tell it to you soon. 
Just need to smooth over some details. Sounds like we might have a new alliance or something. I don't know. All right. Mission complete. Keep your powder dry. And your loins girdled. So while Skurlock is formulating his plan, I think we take a look at this. We got this note a couple missions ago. Your work around the Red Isle has gotten you noticed. You've been extended an invitation to wade into the abyss. Talk to the bartender at Le Pont du Met in St. Anne to find out more. I promise it'll be worth your time from a friend. All right, a secret invitation letter. And I think that's gonna be, I've seen it on the map. We've had this mission on our map. It's not there. Where's Le Pont du Met? There's a cookery. It's here. That's what I was looking for. Yanita Nara is who we're going to see. So it's back here on the island. I haven't been back here. It's back there. We've got a bar back here. La Pont du, du Met. Du Met. Yanita, how you doing? Got a weird invitation. Hello. There's a few new faces recently, but yours is the face everyone is talking about. Welcome to Saint Anne. This oasis of joy is Le Pont Muet, an odd name for a lively place. I grant. Le Pont Muet. <laughs> I'm the owner, but also the barkeep. Mixing and making drinks is my passion, among other things. <laughs> if you're adventurous, try one of my blends. If you just want the best rum in all the seven seas, you can get that too. Come in, put your feet up and let your guard down. Enjoy some peace and pleasure. A word to the wise though, make your waves outside, not in here. I'm not as sweet as I look. Hmm? <laughs> you understand me, Galbi? Good. But listen to me doing all the talking. You must be thirsty. What's your poison? It's a black market. I was going to say, I'm getting some very mysterious vibes here. Is this really Only my oasis of cool drinks and thirsty travelers enjoying the shade. I don't think that's your main well, business, though. What do you drink? Hmm. I've heard about the real, real business, business here. Real business, eh? <laughs> I like that. You know what you want. All right, Galbi. This is how it works. Before our little family, there were some big fish around here eating all the little fish. That's not good for business. So, we offered a service that evened the odds. Now, everyone has a chance. You might still get eaten, mind. But you might get fed too, and fed well. All we ask in return is a reasonable one-time donation. And discretion. So, so it's like a game? that's it. What do you say? Are you sure you want to turn the golden wheel? Some sort of a secret society style of... Hmm, taking the helm. Small favors paved the way for great opportunities at the helm. Enter the smuggler's hideout at St. Anne to continue Anita's initiation. Taking the helm for 2,500 silver, I'm in. entrance through the barrel. I'll meet you inside and give you a grand tour. Okay. Welcome to the helm. Here begins your journey to become the richest pirate entrepreneur in the Indian Ocean. By following Anita's initiation, you will learn everything you need to run a successful smuggling business. So we could start our own little business. All right. I'm sorry, Mr. Skurlock, but we might have some even more interesting opportunities here. So we're going to go into the hideout. This has been back here the whole time. We didn't know about it. I guess we had to prove ourselves first. Now that we're still walking around barefoot, it's kind of a bit of a flex. On the map, you'll now see our supply network. It shows all that's happening in the Indian Ocean. Information is our thing. The helm has eyes and ears everywhere. If it's not here, it's not out there. I promise you. 
opportunities abound. From outsiders to locals and plain shipwrecks, all of them have plunder. <laughs> Things change fast out on the water. Opportunities move between outposts and factions, so you need to be quick. Check the supply network. Chase some leads and scrape a few holes. Come back to me here with any sugarcane you find. So this is kind of like a side business that we can run. The supply network gives you intel to gather sugarcane and other helm materials. New opportunities will arise while old ones will expire. Check back frequently to not miss out on any lucrative deals. All the helm's opportunities you've accepted are registered in the helm tab in your journal. So if we take a look at the supply network here. So daily supply deal helm liaison has put up a shipment of sugarcane for sale. So it's 200 coin. Contract accepted. We can track this. I'm a little bit. A little bit confused. But that's going to put it in our main journal, they said, right? If we bring up our map, we could take a look. Supply deal. Meet with the helm liaison to acquire the shipment of helm materials. So that's going to be all the way up north here. We're going to want to set our objective. I mean, I guess we're still waiting. I'm pretty sure. Cloak and dagger. We can continue with Skurlock when ready. Let's go check this out, though. We haven't done this yet. So, yeah, we're going to fast travel up to the navigator's cross. So the helm liaison, is it going to be upstairs? I'm confused as to what our what our deal is here. Are, are, are we buying? She said she wanted sugarcane, so are we buying sugarcane from them and bringing it back, or how is this working? The home liaison. Your face looks familiar. Aye, that's why I'm here. I knew I recognized you when you landed the shore. You're lucky that Yanita favors you. Don't waste this opportunity, Kawan. The wares we procure are hard to come by, and most will be gone in the blink of an eye. If you take too long to decide, Captain, you'll miss out on a good deal. Interesting. Um, so we're going to work on this. Supply deal. Contract complete. Show me other supply opportunities. There are no opportunities available right now. All right, I'm a little bit confused, I'm not going to lie. So that was our thing. Let me check our inventory, our cargo. We've got sugarcane now. Refines at a white skull rum at the distillery in St. Anne. So I'm going to, fa let's fast travel back to St. Anne. So that, I think that was like the introductory mission. Obviously things are going to get more difficult. I would imagine. Let's run back to Yanita here and we're going to deliver that sugarcane. I'm a bit confused because I feel like we didn't do anything. We just showed up and they gave us sugarcane. Is it like, what's your poison today? We, we can take- Yo -ho! Galby, you've done your first job. Just going this and collecting it for you. That was the job. But one job is hardly enough to die rich, eh? Come to me when you're ready for more. Contract complete. Love it. The helm success hinges on moving goods quickly and quietly. Complete a first order with an overseas smuggler. So I, I think a lot of that is just running things back and forth. I don't know. We're going to check that out later. Maybe it's something we're going to look at in endgame. Maybe I'm totally off and, and it's something that we need to be doing right now. But for now, I'm going to go back to Mr. Skurlock. He's got another new main mission. If all you need is instructions and initiate yourself into the underground world. I, I have no idea what's going on. I'm going to have to dive into that later. But all I know is we are progressing pretty well along the main storyline. And I think we're going to kind of stick with that for right now. The Helm's freshest member. He greeds a sin. You're the devil himself. Always knows what we're up to, man. I love it. I will rise up, but now let's talk about the lion and the rat. Rat has sprung Skurlock's trap. Kingpin is convinced it has to be exterminated and is an example to other would-be traitors. Cully. Hunt him down. I put it all together. I know who the head rat is, and you are going out there to kill him. Fair enough. I've always kept watchful eye on the ass-kissing, groveling little gits. But this one, quiet, capable. I'm greedy as hell. He's a proper pirate captain, with many following his lead, much like yourself. But this rat becomes a lion when cornered. Okay. I'll enjoy gutting the bastard. We'll hang him from the beam. The rest of the traitors will fall in line, and some may even repent. 
Perfect. This will be the first of many wrongs that shall be righted in the coming days. And fret not. You'll be at the heart of it. <laughs> oh, Cully. I'm counting on you. I only wish I could be there to hear him scream as you tear him down. He makes for French territory and will sail through some quiet stretches. It's a perfect place for an ambush. Go on. Get him. So instead of completely eliminating the entire, you know, company. Your ambition has served you well. You killing all of our soldiers. Top to bottom. Each member's loyalty is only to themselves. These dregs will pick you clean while shaking your hand. If not for the business the hell it brings. I'd have turned him out long ago. Oof. He's warning us about the helm. If anyone takes from me, I'm gonna kill him. Of great infamy, and, and they own leagues of allies. I'd love to watch you slaughter the lot. For now, the helm brings great riches. But those profits slow, and it will be open war again. Until then, I'll keep taking my cuts. Be on your way, Cullen. Interesting. So he's not Stay exactly greedy. a. A fan of the helm, but if we can milk it dry while we have the chance, might as well. But so yeah, instead of you know all the, the rats that we have, all the traders and stuff, instead of taking them all out and doing something drastic, we're just gonna go for one of the top ones, make an example out of them, scare the rest into uh, into line. So let's see where do we think he is gonna be? Off here to the right, lion and the rat. Sail to the trader's location before they escape. All right, well. Like I said, we're a soldier now, baby. We are made for these Hitman style missions. So let's get out there and get after him. We could be out over here. We're just off the coast to the right, kind of in front of that next island, I think. I think it's gonna be this guy. He's in combat with others. Uncut garnets and cogwheels. Not too worried about that. He's going to be somewhere in this area, I think. Sailing straight for it. I mean, I'm kind of tempted. Why not? Let's get it. Let me see if I can... Hit these guys from a distance. Got a double hit there. That's what I'm talking about, dude. This thing is so good. Look at this. Bang, bang. Almost down. He's dead. And the second one's going to be dead as well. Let's hit him with another mortar. Got to lead him. Tell me that's going to hit. Ooh. We're going to get the timing down on the mortars. Got him. Let's go. <laughs> Our objective's over here. Let's go get him. Ooh. Hello. Some big ships on the horizon here. They said he, he travels in packs. Is this him? Company Broadsider. Allegiant Skirmisher. I don't think that's them. Could be off to the right. It's not that little guy, is it? No. Oh, it was this guy over here, and he's he's fighting a company broadsider. All right, I guess I guess that all adds up. The Allegiant skirmisher. Let's go take him out. Here we go. From downtown. How quickly can we fire these? Just one at a time, dude. Is that gonna get both? Oh my goodness. Let's go. Come on. Can we fire again? Oh, it takes a while. All right. Hold on. We're going to have to watch out for some rogue waves here. I can't really see much of anything. I think this guy's going to be down. Oh, yep. We ran into him. He's dead. Night, night. And now we've got the traitor. Take him down. Turn away from him. Hit him with the back cannons. Aim low. He's behind us, chasing us. I don't think that's going to hit. We'll see if that drops in time. It's going to drop in time. Let's go. Woo! Good night. He's done. Got a company fleet ambush. The fleet is flying Karadax colors. So we got a whole bunch of other ones out here. Here we go. I'm in. Let's start getting to work, boys. Those are both going to miss right there. Those are terrible shots. We got to be careful. We got to watch our... Uh... Can we shoot this again? Nope, not yet. We got to watch our health. If there's this many of them, we gotta be very, very careful about health situations. Fire this, there it is. 
Try to avoid. Brace if you have to. Beautiful. Woo! I'm gonna heal up just to get us to 100%. Throw some fire bombs. He's gonna be down. Even got a crew boarding. Didn't mean to, but we'll take it all day. Give me these. Dude, there is a lot of bad guys. Got this guy over here. Fire that in front of him. That should hit. I think that's the last one. The Spectre. Hit him with the side cannons if we can. And then turn and hit him with the rear cannons. And then turn and hit him with the side cannons. And then turn and hit him with the front cannons. Beautiful. We could... Uh, not throw that right on top of ourselves. We're going to be fine. Fire bombs. Dude. Our ship is so powerful now. I love it. Managing being able to use all of these is the biggest problem. You just got to keep turning and burning. Hit him with this guy. He's going to walk right into that. And that's a GG. Throw some fire bombs. Almost dead. Dead. Woo! All right, so a whole company convoy there. Turn to Skurlock and confront the Kingpin and his dealings with the Karadek. You made it back. Got some explaining to do. So Karadek's mortal after all. The fiercest French captain, fallen by your hand. I sent you into a battle that I knew you would win. Karadek lays dead. Yeah, I had talks with Karadek. That glory-blinded fool. You see, he slobbered at the thought of killing a pirate captain as storied as you. So you so, sent me in there without telling me I about it. I made you not only the bait, but also the hook and instrument of death. It seems really convenient. The was not late for you. It was always for Karadek. Now, the Compagnie has lost their hero. The rat's their master. None dare oppose us. The world is ours for the taking. I shimmer down those cheeks, Cully. I ever led you astray before? I don't think you really care about us. I think you're... The captain who escorted the Exeter. You remember that mangy look on your face when you first stumbled in? Now look at you. Gain power over your enemies. Made a name for yourself all through the Red Isle. All about lining your own pockets. It's not about Admiral friendship or loyalty. Wants to meet with you. No doubt. She'll hear of the Karadek slaying boots to the Compagnie's throat pirate you have become. From yours truly. The Admiral could use an enterprising pirate like yourself in a drawn-out rebellion against the Dutch. In return, she'll fill your hull with treasures from the East that we St. Anne pirates only dream about. Since a little Do jealousy. Come, and you could have a fleet of your own and captains to snap at your coattails. Who knows? Maybe one day you might even become a kingpin. Like me. Most importantly, you've come out in my corner. I'll give you that. Not many sea dogs I would toast to these days, you know. My thanks to you, Cully. The den's always open for more work. Next time we cross paths, may the seas and skies be less fucking aflame. <laughs> uh, as long as our goals are aligned, we're going to be friends, Mr. Kingpin, Mr. Scully. Moment that that changes, I've got a feeling I can't trust you as far as I could throw you. But uh, we're just going to keep moving forward. Dude. We are almost leveled up we are almost past Mara i don't even know what's next but it's gonna be pretty exciting once we get there so i guess our next main mission is gonna be to go east maybe i i don't know but uh, looks like our next mission is gonna be with yanita again 
We're gonna figure out what's going on here. It's it's interesting. Starting my own business, I like Maybe it. I just need home. to get a better idea of, of what's going on. So we still can't even open the black market yet. So we're in the introductory phases. Uh, the home success hinges on moving goods quickly and quietly can put a first order. Sugar cane is easy to find, but turning it into something worth selling, now that's the hard part. Meet me in your office and I'll teach you the tricks of the trade. Okay. So we're getting sugar cane, we're turning it into rum, I'm assuming. Best wishes, friend. Hop to it! Times are wasting! There's rum to be made! <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're a good lot, most of them. And they make the best rum in the Indian Ocean. The distillery here turns your larceny into profit. Put plainly, you bring a sugarcane you've liberated, and we transfigure it. And then we can sell it. Skull rum, we call it. And it sells as easy as it drinks. It fetches top price from the Red Isle to East Indies. That quality isn't easy. So leave your sugar cane with us and get back out there. Return when we've had time to work our magic. So this is our distillery now. We can provide materials. We have 55 sugar came from that first mission we did. We're going to make some white skull run a high quality rum refined from sugar came by the helm members. Okay, I'm going to max that out. It's going to take 13 minutes and 45 seconds and 275 silver. So we'll let them get to work. And now I would imagine the idea is we want as much sugar cane as possible. So we just keep getting more sugar cane, making more rum, sending out more orders, that kind of thing. So this is when our you order ledger. Sell, you want the best deals for your goods. That's where the order registry comes in. The order registry is where we keep information on all our clients willing to pay top price for speedy delivery. Getting the goods to them, that's your job. Amazon Prime, Try baby. To buy some Call me sugar Bezos. Cane with your juicy payment on the way back. That way, you can keep the distillery working and making profit while you're off making your mark. Makes sense. Don't forget to check the supply network before you head out. There are fortunes there just waiting for you to make them. My only question is... What's the point? What are we earning here? I guess uh, more silver? Order registry displays orders from the various clients scattered in the Indian Ocean. Fulfilling any order will generate great profits and increase your infamy. Oh, you get infamy from this too. Okay, so we can rank up. Be warned that such rewards demand an honest effort and you will not be able to use fast travel with such delivery. Deliveries can make you a target for other rogues who will try to steal your precious cargo. As soon as you sail out of the den, stay alert for an ambush. Get ready to fight or flee, otherwise you could lose your wares. Interesting, so we're not going to be able to fast travel. We're actually, okay, this makes sense. We've got valuable goods. We're transporting them across the waters. We're making money. We're dealing with illicit goods and stuff. An overseas smuggler has placed an order for White Skull Rum, uh, 20 of them, and we're going to get 50 infamy. So we're going to have to set sail from St. Anne. We're not going to be able to, to fast travel across or anything. We're actually going to have to sail the high seas. We're not going that far. I guess we can kind of set our objective for straight across. Here we go. And we could potentially be attacked as we're doing this. Obviously, we don't want to start any fights, really. I mean, we can, but we've got some valuable goods here. And we want to make sure we're protecting that and make sure we get this mission complete. So far, it looks like we're good. Usually, it's the, the big... Like black and red ships that attack us. Oh boy. Well, I apologize. Yep, my bad. I, you kind of ran into me. We're gonna be fine. Just loot it, loot it, and keep running. We can go for some alternative objectives if we want. Couple quick shots. He's done. Let's go. We are going to have his base up here to our right, which is probably not going to love that, but we're just, we're just going to sail by, pretend like nothing happened. Brace up, we'll be fine. Turn the corner, they're not going to know what hit him, baby. We can disappear. There's no cameras or 
satellites or anything to track us. That's crazy. You could just straight up sink entire ships and nobody would ever know what happened. You just turn the corner and never to be seen again. Look alive to your battle station. Oh, here we go. They set up for us. Look at this. Our delivery is right in front of us. They were they were waiting for us. All right. I'm down for it, baby. Oh, shoot. We're actually taking a lot of damage here. Come on. Let's, let's maybe try moving. Oh, God. Oh, this is really not good. This is not good at all. Okay. We have multiple ships after us here. Come on. Brace up. We got 34 seconds until we can heal. Make sure the, the boys are... Oh, brace. Make sure the boys are eating. Got one sunk. Holy cow. Okay, th this is a bunch of level eights. Like, this is actually kind of no joke. Let's try to fire this out in front of them. We got to lead the shots a little bit, Trev. We got him there. That's what I'm talking about. Eat, 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 eat. We can't eat again. Holy cow. We can heal again. Let's go. He should be dead. Beautiful. Dude, these black ships are no joke. Holy cow. There's one more back there, but I think we're going to be okay. We just got promoted to Corsair. Can we hit this one? That's one of those guys for sure. Can we hit him from this far away? No way, dude. Kobe! Is he gonna sail into it? Oh, almost. You can kind of use this as like a, a preview to see how far your stuff is going. That way overshot it there. Don't aim too high. Those should hit. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, baby. That's a good hit right there. I think there are more off to our left. Yep. You guys are going to regret this. I'm going to make sure you do. You thought you were ambushing me. Guess who's ambushing now? Some good hits there. He's done. Let's go. Okay. I mean, honestly, it was a little bit scary at first. We still only have the level two repair kits. I think we might need to start using level threes if we're going to start getting into battles like this, but we were able to get it done. I just didn't like the fact when we got to the point where we couldn't heal anymore because we were on the, the cooldown and we couldn't even feed our soldiers. Like that, that got a little bit scary, but... We're good to go. That was fun. See, that, that I like that. I respect that. Just straight up running stuff to, to different ports is not fun. But if you're going to get attacked along the way, you got to hold it down. That's pretty good. So. Should be able to finish up this order here. Nearly lost at the last minute, but we're good to go. Who... Ordered the rum. I'm assuming it's going to be somebody up top. This is our uh, head of smuggling here. No I got the rum for you, my man. There Wouldn't you be thirsty? Don't seem to be spoiling for a fight. You are welcome. Now, I haven't seen your ugly mug round here before. You don't strike me as the privateering sort. I'm the sort that hunts and I can point you to the toughest of them. Captain, the two of us seek coin and maybe the golden wheel, too. I say we help each other out. See, I carry goods to faraway places and receive hefty reward. You desire a share of these spoils? I like well, money. Well, if Lady Luck smiles upon you, I might offer some work. If not, I have fine wares, too. Come, take your pick, Captain. I mean, so he's got other supply opportunities. I'm going to finish up this order here. Let's deliver before we get into any other trouble. Oh, we've got an octopus coin. Is that a new type of... That might be a new type of, of currency. He has no current contracts at the moment. So some people are going to have some contracts at certain times. They're going to bounce around. It's never going to be a definite thing. Interesting. So now we could go up. And get more, right? I'm pretty sure. Do we want to go up and get more sugarcane so we can get the sugarcane working? I feel like the 
it takes like 20 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever it was to make the little amount of sugar cane we ordered, then we probably want to keep that going as much as possible. We got a bunch more sugar cane, and now we're going to be able to take that back since we're not on an active supply mission. We're going to take that back to St. Anne. We could put that in our distillery. They're going to start making rum with it. We also have to deliver this completed contract receipt. I don't know what our, our kind of like smuggler coin is. It's the, the octopus coin that we earned. We got 25 of it, so it's it's not a very, you know, it's hard to come by. You aren't gonna earn a ton of it. So we've got 47 product in there. We're gonna provide materials. Uh, max sugar cane, we've got 32 of it. We just got 16 twice. Eight more minutes, they're gonna work on that, okay. So we'll just leave that in there for right now. I don't think we need it right away. If we go back to St. Anne, we're gonna go talk to Yanita. I'm sure she's gonna be very happy that we actually ran our first delivery mission. A new Let's budding enterprise. Another job well done. To reward your success, you've been granted access to our black market. Nice. Goods from our past members are sold to current pirates. Take a look. Something is bound to catch your fancy if you have enough helm coins. Helm your coins. Your contributions have not gone unnoticed, Galbi. Keep this up and you'll get into my good books. A place worth being. So we earn helm coins from these helm missions. The gatekeeper grants you access to the helm's black market where your pieces of eight can be traded for materials, cosmetic items, and more. So pieces of eight, that's what it's called. So you do these smuggling missions you earn pieces of eight and then i'm assuming this is going to be kind of like upgraded materials and stuff red isle fiber metal wood africa fiber east indies metal new long guns and stuff yeah we haven't seen some of these holy cow we can get a leopold one mortar how many pieces of eight do we need for that does it sell oh, 1200 we currently have 25 so it's it's going to be a while. Mortar 2, Mortar 1, Fire Bombard 2. We're going to need 500 pieces of 8 for that. Okay. So this is an upgraded shop with like better cosmetics, better weapons, better everything. The only way to get this stuff is... I think you might be able to craft it. I'm not sure. But it, it looks like there's a, a good way you can get this stuff is by using this, this pieces of 8. I think we just continue down this path for now. Obviously, it's opening up. We're kind of getting through the tutorial of it. Uh, I don't see any other main missions over in the east yet, so many a pirate would kill for a cut of the helm's lucrative contracts take on a supply network contract Okay, I'm gonna get 300 ah, infamy for it. contracts can gain a lot of unwanted attention. Sorry for the surprise, Galbi Rival gangs are tough competition and they don't fight fair But there is a way to turn the tide in your favor. We did get in in your office and I'll tell you how <laughs> Turn the tide in our favor. All right. To Sounds good, good to me. It's a good fortune. Appreciate that. Let's see what she's got in her sleeve. Now you know that taking bigger jobs makes you a target. That's something we all learn sooner or later. There's a way to make that work in your favor. Our network shows operators who take the big deals. That's how they found you. We don't get involved directly, it's bad for business. But neither will we interfere if you hunt others or take revenge. Oh. Be careful of the gangs. They're organized and that makes them dangerous. But each gang has its own weaknesses. We show you who's in the area so you can prepare your strategy and turn the tables on them. Check the supply network. Be smart, and you'll take those robes for all the silver they took from others. Easy. So we could take our own contracts and do our own deliveries, but we can also look at other contracts that are active and we can steal from them. You unlock a new tab in the supply network where you find intel to hunt rogue convoys carrying sugarcane and other helm materials. Rogue hunt opportunities allow you to track down a rogue convoy to steal. Be careful, each convoy is escorted by specialized warships belonging to one of the four rival gangs, all well armed with their signature armaments. Interesting. So we can be above the board and do our missions, or we can go below deck and take some people on. Rogue Convoy is spotted transporting a shipment of sugarcane. Got 40 sugarcane. Let's track them down. 
Is this? Oh, this is them right there. Hold on. Fire away, Captain. Here we go. I was looking the wrong way. Dude, we got three of them with one attack right there. Come on, baby. Here we go. You just missed all your shots, Trev. Oh, wow. Okay. This, this did not work out as I planned. Just don't... Maybe don't stand still. That's one down. Take their stuff. We're gonna be fine. I feel like sometimes we... We kind of like turn the corner and then stand still and it's, it's not the... The best idea. Fire that off. Let's use these islands to our advantage. There it is. And we kind of roll in like we're big dog and we can't be touched and we end up really not in good shape. Eat up, boys. Here we go. Don't miss your shots. Aim a little bit lower. There it is. They should be turned into it. They should be in trouble. Woo. We got these guys over here. Done. Let's go. Holy cow, we've got a healing kit. Contract complete, we got those there. Yeah, we gotta be a little bit smarter about that. When it's a 3v1, you just can't, you can't really roll up and, and sit still. Get some of this bog iron, beautiful. All right, that's how we get things done. Bring this sugar cane back home, baby. We can take our wares there, drop it off to the distillery, get them to start making more rum and we're gonna go give the rogue hunt receipt to Yanita as well. This is just kind of like a secondary market for better items. I wish we would have done this earlier. I think a lot of this stuff would have been beneficial for us to be working towards rather than the, the base stuff we could have got, but it's fine. Kind of like a secret secret club for What's your poison specialty today? pirate stuff. You beat the gangs at their own game. Got that em. took real fortitude. It means you're ready for the next step. And it's a big one. You will also notice your office has been cleaned and improved. One of the benefits of success around here. I'll take it. All right. Go with luck. Ever heard See what's of going on in the new Yara? helm? Oh, it's a quiet little fishing village to the east. Here we go. Now it's part of our operation. I've got a sister there who does what I do. Only better. Her office is hidden behind an opium den there. Oh, she's smart. And tough. Her name's Homer. She's not as friendly as me. Don't take it personally. She doesn't like anyone. Even me, if I'm truthful. But if you want to cast a wider net, she can point you to swag. We don't get down this way. The stuff's There's different over there, for sure. from Puma, if you can earn her trust. I'll put a word in. The rest is on you. This mark is a sign you're now a trusted member of our organization. It might help some with Puma, but I wouldn't count on it. Don't forget about Yanita, Galbi. I've grown used to your face. I'll always have something for you if you pass this way. So both Yanita and Skurlock are both saying we now need to go to the east, which is the higher level, more intense area of the map. I've got a feeling we're kind of getting towards the end-ish. I don't know if we're close or not, but let's max out the rum here. We got 40 more pieces of sugar cane. Get to work, boys. So we've got a ton of rum. We could keep grinding this if we wanted. I'm sure we're going to have more supply network missions. I personally like the attack. Ooh, we could get 64 sugar cane there for 800. We've also got more attack missions. You can hit forts, rogue hunts, all kinds of stuff. Dude, this is crazy. So if you want to grind that out, if you want to get specialty supplies and stuff, obviously that's the way to do it. But uh, I kind of want to continue on with the storyline, which I'm assuming Hor the horizon beckons. Read the letter from the mysterious correspondent. We must have some mail. Head back over to our post office here. This is bittersweet, man. I feel like we're going to be leaving St. Anne behind. I think we might be moving forward and, again, kind of towards the end-ish. Official business in Talak Panjara. My officers whisper in my ear that you are a pirate worthy of my attention. They say you brought the company to their knees near the Red Isle. I hope you will do the same to the DMC here in the East Indies. 
We cannot let the DMC seize our birthright and the riches of my homeland. The entire Indian Ocean may be sucked dry, and still the Dutch pigs would try and swallow its sandy bottom hole. And then what, Captain? They'll come for the rest of us, Rogue or Rimpa alike. They're sending us 200 silver and 5 jade, some rare materials from across the world. And it sounds like we are going to be heading out east. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. We're going to keep grinding, baby. This is it. The east is by far the toughest area. We've done some scouting over here, collected a lot of materials and stuff, but obviously a lot more to uncover and some new main missions here in the, uh, the foreign lands. So I'll see you guys there. Peace out.